When you read the Old Testament, Satan was one of the highest ranking angels in the heavenly orders who was known as Samael, which means the bearer of light. Satan was not just thrown down from the heavens, but he also lost his name, his identity, his rank, and the glory God had bestowed upon him. In several parts of the gospel, Satan was scarcely mentioned until he decided to approach Jesus Christ after he had fasted for 40 days and nights. But what I'm going to reveal next is something a lot of Christians still do not know. Number one, Satan is really scared of you. When you read Luke 10 verse 17 to 19, Jesus Christ had sent out 72 of his disciples to go out and preach the word to others. But all of a sudden, they run back with tears of joy and with smiles all over their faces. Jesus looks at them and asks them what had happened. So the 72 men confessed to him that, as they went out to preach the gospel, even the demons submitted to them through his name. And Jesus Christ made gave a very great revelation that I want you to pay attention to. He replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions, and to overcome all the power of the enemy, and nothing can by any means harm you. Luke chapter 10 verses 18 and 19. So here Jesus Christ was making it very clear to the 72 disciples how Satan was thrown down from heaven with the speed of lightning. And then he made it clear that their ability to cast out demons wasn't anything extraordinary because he had given them the power to tremble or walk over serpents and scorpions and over every power of darkness. One amazing fact here is that the serpent Jesus talked about was referring to the devil or Satan himself. In fact, the Bible uses the term serpent most often to represent Satan, and the scorpion that Jesus was talking about are referring to demons, princes, and hosts of darkness. Number two, Satan controls the world and its governments. In Luke 4 verses 5 and 6, Jesus Christ was very weak as he had fasted for 40 days and nights, and I believe you know what happens next. Satan took Jesus Christ up a high mountain where he showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. The is one part of this scripture that a lot of people have not yet recognized. Satan had been truly given the authority and power to control the earth, and its governments, to cause wars and famines, and to set distress upon the earth. And that is just what we see today. We see the abomination that brought down the entire city of Sodom and Gomorrah happenings today. Sin is glorified all over the world, and the fear of God is gradually departing from men. And that is a solid proof that the devil is truly controlling and manipulating the earth and turning the heart of many away from God. Number three, you now have power over death. Revelation chapter 1 verse 17 to 18, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one. I was dead, and see, I am alive forever and ever, and I have the keys of death and of Hades. This scripture was a saying from Christ's own mouth, where he is reassuring you and I that he is victorious over death, and has seized the keys of death, which represent the power of death to keep its souls captive. So in Revelation 21 verse 4, Jesus Christ revealed that the devil has been fully disarmed, and his only weapon over man which is death will soon be wiped away. Revelation 21 verse 4, He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. So from these we are rest assured that the only power that Satan had over man is long lost. And this is an assurance that very soon, all the dead in Christ will be resurrected once again. Let your faith be stared up, and be rest assured that Jesus Christ still loves you. Share this with all your friends and family, and don't forget to like and share.